In the area of science and colossal privileged insights, the subject of what existed previously the gigantic explosion has blended conversations and intrigued characters for quite a while. This huge request doesn't just test how we could decipher the universe. It challenges the real furthest reaches of human data. Imagine standing at the edge of presence, looking into the gigantic obscurity, and pondering what lay there before our universe was imagined. The event of the Big Bang marked the beginning of time, space, and all that we know. Anyway, was there a second earlier, previously this? Could there have been a condition of nothingness, a calm before the pompous outfit started? And if this is true, was it? Or perhaps there was something much more startling that existed before time itself? As we jump further into this question, science takes us on a journey past the universe's beginning point into thoughts that challenge our cognizance. Physicist Michio Kaku, known for his investigation into the wonders of the universe, suggests that something frightening might have existed before the Big Bang. He moves us to re-examine our thought of the real world and presence. In this examination, we'll break down the science, the speculation, and the shocking insider secrets that might make sense of what existed before all that. We'll investigate thoughts like gaudy development, quantum changes, dim energy, and even multiverses. The answers we've revealed might just stagger you, but they could likewise open new understandings of our position in the universe. Get ready to plunge deep into a world beyond imagination and science, where the obscure still winds around the shadows, leaving specialists surprised and, in some cases, even upset. We ought to examine what existed before the Big Bang and why these hypotheses challenge all that we thought we knew. To fathom what may have existed before the Big Bang, we first need to painstakingly inspect what the Big Bang truly was. The Big Bang, as specialists define it, alludes to the second when the universe became phenomenally hot and thick, growing quickly to set off the formation of all matter, energy, and boundless powers. When we look toward the night sky, we see proof of this hot beginning, with galaxies spreading out this way and that from an early stage point. However, for what reason did this happen? Furthermore, was there a period before this thick, hot start? As indicated by the hypothesis of infinite expansion, there was indeed a previously, and it was not even close to void or serene. Inestimable expansion suggests that before the Big Bang, the universe was in an express that was cold, vacant, and loose, for all intents and purposes like a tremendous vacuum. Anyway, this vacuum wasn't completely unfilled. It contained an enormous measure of energy that controlled the fast development of space itself. This development, called expansion, happened so rapidly that it essentially established the groundwork for all that would continue in a part of a subsequent space. The space extended at staggering paces until the expansion eased back and the energy changed into matter, particles, and the powers we see as the Big Bang. However, what was the idea of this energy? For what reason did it suddenly enlarge the universe, and for what reason did it stop? Scientists trust that this infinite expansion created patches of the universe, each experiencing its own Big Bang. Imagine a texture extending perpetually with small air pockets forming here and there, each air pocket representing a universe, including our own. This thought, called the inflationary multiverse, suggests that there are possibly limitless Big Bangs and an interminable number of universes. Our own is only one of numerous. This tremendous brain-twisting reality challenges our perception of the very universe itself and leaves us with the question, what else is out there? The idea of nothingness before the Big Bang is speculative, not real, at least according to our ongoing understanding. Regardless of whether you removed all energy, particles, and radiation from the universe, it would still not be genuinely void. Our universe is loaded up with dark matter, dark energy, quantum fields, and different powers that weave an inescapable woven artwork of something, even in its most unfilled structure. Regardless of whether we envision stripping away all of these powers, leaving a dead emptiness, the universe would in any case produce new sorts of energy. This reality alone is perplexing to analysts, as it suggests that valid nothingness might be impossible, 
at least within our vast comprehension. As we test further, we find that space itself has properties, rules, and constants that keep it from being totally vacant. Imagine making a region with literally nothing in it. No particles, no radiation, and no energy, aside from quantum fields and central constants. These would still exist, suggesting that this nothingness has properties. For instance, there's a peculiarity called zero-point energy which represents the most reduced conceivable energy condition of quantum fields. In this state, particles can still momentarily show up and evaporate, making a spooky reverberation of development, even in what ought to be unfilled space. This challenges our idea of a genuine void and suggests that yes, even before the Big Bang, there was something that scientists are only starting to understand. Quite possibly of the most surprising speculation in modern cosmology is the chance of eternal expansion. If expansion could cause our universe to exist, it's conceivable it could proceed endlessly. Michio Kaku describes a startlingly huge inflationary multiverse where universes are interminably created and continue expanding. Imagine each Big Bang as a flash lighting another universe, while expansion goes on in different areas creating innumerable different universes. This cycle could, in principle, go on until the end of time. This thought of vast universes gives birth to a captivating idea of a fractal universe, where each new universe might actually create its own Big Bang. Every universe exists as a separate, independent domain, unaffected by the others. Due to the quick expansion of space, four researchers, this hypothesis is both exciting and upsetting, as it suggests an unending multiverse with no definitive starting or end. Consider the possibility that our universe is only one bit in a giant, enormous structure, endlessly growing and creating forever. And imagine a scenario where the disrupting reality is that there is no previously or later, just an everlasting pattern of universes shaping and rotting. Yet, just an everlasting cycle of universes shaping and rotting. How we may interpret nothingness changes when we consider quantum field theory. According to this theory, the universe isn't basically an assortment of matter floating in space. Rather, it's an unpredictable organization of energy fields that fill the universe, connecting to make all that we notice. These fields are like undetectable seas with particles acting as waves or disturbances. Even when fields are at their lowest energy level, known as the vacuum state, they are still dynamic. Particles can show up and evaporate in these fields, momentarily obtaining energy before returning it. This peculiarity leads to virtual particles, entities that immediately exist and then vanish, leaving only a faint memory of their presence. The idea of virtual particles challenges the thought of a genuine void. Imagine an empty universe where all matter, radiation, and energy are removed. Would you have absolute nothingness? According to quantum field theory, you wouldn't even in a vacuum. Fields would stay dynamic, sometimes producing transient particles. This constant movement in what should be nothing suggests that the universe doesn't recognize our idea of vacancy. The fields and forces persist, filling the universe with a hidden energy that prevents absolute nothingness. This understanding raises a fascinating question. If fields create particles and particles create matter, might the very universe itself have emerged from this nothingness filled with quantum fields? Dark energy is a puzzling force that currently drives the accelerated development of our universe. But did dark energy exist before the Big Bang? From certain perspectives, the fact that dark energy exists today is a leftover of an energy field from before our universe's development. The properties of dark energy appear to suggest a huge, hidden force that might have existed in some form prior to the Big Bang. Some speculations suggest that dark energy, in a much stronger state, could have controlled the inflationary stage, causing rapid development. The presence of dark energy suggests that, Regardless of whether our universe were exhausted of all matter and radiation, this power would continue to extend the texture of space-time. This thought leads to an upsetting question. If dark energy was present before the Big Bang, 
Could it have formed the circumstances that prompted the introduction of our universe? Could dark energy be the quiet engineer of infinite expansion or even the genuine beginning of our universe? As we explore this possibility, we face the potential of dark energy not just as a force shaping our universe but as a key that could open the secrets of the multiverse itself. Another speculation that offers an alternative to the Big Bang as a definitive start is cyclic cosmology, the idea that the universe goes through limitless patterns of birth, death, and resurrection. In this model, the Big Bang is not a one-time event but may be part of an everlasting cadence, where universes grow, break down, and then are reborn in another cycle. This theory suggests that our universe might have been resurrected from the leftovers of a past universe. The process of compression and expansion in a cyclic pattern would mean that there was never a true start. Instead, a perpetual series of universes arises, grows, and revives itself over and over again. Cyclic cosmology raises significant questions about time, as it suggests that time itself might be recurrent rather than linear. Assuming this theory is correct, it could imply that what existed before the Big Bang was simply another version of the universe, one that fell solely to bring forth our current universe. For researchers, this theory offers a rich answer to the question of ultimate origins, suggesting that there is no genuine beginning. The universe has perpetually existed in an endless loop. To wrap it all up, despite the profound insight and scientific progress we've made in understanding the universe, the question of what existed before the Big Bang remains one of the most elusive mysteries we confront. The idea of nothingness might be harder to comprehend than it seems. Could there have been infinite expansion, quantum fluctuations, or fields that outstretch our present limits? Are we destined to only glimpse at the edges of the cosmos, always kept from fully understanding what existed before? With every answer that science offers, we unearth new questions, making this area of research both exciting and humbling. Ultimately, as Michio Kaku reminds us, the search for knowledge about the universe and its true origin isn't just about uncovering answers, but about stretching the limits of human imagination. As we continue to probe the deepest corners of the cosmos, the question of what existed before the Big Bang seems to both haunt and inspire scientists. Each new theory, model, and discovery reveals more about the nature of space-time, energy, and the fundamental forces that govern the universe, yet we remain tantalizingly close to answers, but still not fully able to grasp them. One particularly intriguing idea that emerges from these ongoing discussions is the possibility of a quantum foam or vacuum fluctuation in the very fabric of space-time itself. This concept proposes that before the Big Bang, the universe existed in a state of intense quantum instability, where tiny fluctuations in energy would randomly appear and vanish, creating a froth each foam of possible universes. These fluctuations could have triggered the Big Bang itself, sparking the creation of our own universe. In this way, the entire cosmos could be born from a quantum fluctuation, a seemingly random yet potentially inevitable event in the realm of quantum physics. Furthermore, string theory and the multiverse theory provide additional layers to this mystery. According to string theory, all particles in the universe are made up of tiny vibrating strings of energy. These strings exist in more than just three spatial dimensions, which means the universe we know might just be a part of a far greater, multidimensional reality. The multiverse theory, which suggests the existence of multiple universes with potentially different physical laws, adds another dimension to our understanding of before to the Big Bang. If other universes exist in parallel to our own, perhaps they have different histories, and what we perceive as the Big Bang could be the collision or merging of different realms of existence.